Let's wipe away the clones. Well, we'll wipe away two of the clones and we'll throw a couple of the figures here for scale. Let's uh, pull him out of the way, the two newer ones. This is an older figure. This is a newer one. This is a Super Battle Droid. Let's throw him over here. And then C3PO as a Battle Droid. Why not? Today on the channel, we're going to be unboxing Clone Commander Wolf. This is a Star Wars The Black Series figure from Hasbro. It is an older figure. Um, we'll take a look at the back of the box and check out what year it came out, but I've had this on the shelf for quite some time. Uh, at the time, I was trying to get a lot of these clone commanders, but a lot of them are harder to get. Like, I could not get a Fox or a, um, what was his name? Uh, of course, Captain Rex. Yeah. The, uh, the, 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 the red line Captain Rex, which is super cool. I have this Captain Rex, the, the uh, Bad Batch one, but he's nowhere near as good as the, uh, the red line one. It's got that funky, not white plastic from Hasbro. I mean, here's your, your white Hasbro plastic, which looks great. This is that weird, I don't know, old yellow teeth color. <laughs> I don't know what how to explain it, but... It's kind of strange. Off-white, I guess is the best way to say it. Uh, he's just not as good as the other figure, in my opinion. I think he's okay. He'll look good with the Bad Batch section, but I want a Captain Rex that I can put next to all these guys. So so Hasbro is going to re-release these. I don't know. It would have been great to get an archive with some updates, but instead they're just re-releasing them in their original packaging, but they've got, uh, 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 let's see, Wolf and uh, Captain Rex that I was able to pre-order before. I think they were up for only about a half an hour and they sold out. So hopefully they'll be able to purchase in the store and stuff, but they're back to the uh, Redline box. I don't know if they had a bunch laying around and they're reselling them or if they actually repackaged, uh, started from scratch and remade them. You know, I don't know at that point, they should have just probably updated it with an archive, but I don't know. I bought them, you know, probably a sucker because I bet they'll come out with, uh, with them at some point. They'll probably do a Cody uh, with the new clone bodies and everything and even a wolf and stuff at some point, but I don't know I have to have I have to have uh, Them for my shelf, so I bought them. It is what it is. <laughs> oh Well, I bet in nine months. We'll see probably uh, an updated version, but uh, All right, just happy to get these unboxed finally. This has been sitting on the shelf for a while like I said, so there's the front There's the back Here's the first side with the window. Old school red line box. There is your red line. But I don't know when exactly. We'll look at the date, like I said, but I don't know. They usually have a number. Some of these don't have numbers. I don't know. All black, nothing up top. And your barcode legalese. There's a barcode if you'd like to, for whatever reason. There it is. All right, let's set it here, pull the camera back. We'll get a closer look at everything and then we'll get it completely unboxed. All right, there's the Black Series logo. There is Wolf's helmet and Wolf's uh, scratched eye, his messed up eyeball. His two blasters, much like Rex and Fox. And uh, yeah, he's the gray one with the poop on him. I don't know, I don't love this, uh, I don't love weathering to begin with, the way that Hasbro does it anyway. But I really hate the brown. I mean, what is that? I'm definitely gonna go back through with some kind of a grayish, or black or something and paint over that a little bit because I hate the stark brown. It just looks like he was at a zoo exhibit, at, uh, a monkey exhibit at the zoo and they were flinging, flinging poop at him or something and hit him in the chest and his arms. It's not good. All right, there's the model of the box. Flipping it to the back, there's a box series. And there's a blurb if you'd like to read about Clone Commander Wolf. And there's the bottom. Barco, or not Barco, just legalese. All right, we're gonna look and see if we can find a year. I see it, 2018. 2018, okay, this is an oldie. Oldie, oldie. All right, let's put it here, pull the camera down. Let me grab my exact knife, oh, there it is. While I'm cutting this tape, just wanna say if you're enjoying this video, if you could give it a like, if you enjoy uh, unboxing, uh, action figures, toy hunts, uh, shelf tours, um, what else? I don't know, all kind of action figure fun stuff. Go ahead and subscribe to Hey What That On My Shelf, if you haven't already. Get that all in your feed 
Uh, if you have a fun comment, that is also very welcome. Very appreciated. That said, let's let me see if I can get my finger in here and get this guy out. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. One more flap, and we're gonna pull him out. Nice. All right. Let's get these blasters. There's his handheld blasters. I do not know the name of these blasters. If you know, throw it in the comments. I'd love to know. I am bad with blaster names. Very bad. I do know that uh, these blasters, I believe, I had uh, a, a viewer leave some comments. I believe this is a DC-15S and this is a DC-15A. So I, I think I know a couple. I'm trying to get better. I've never been, I know quite a bit about Star Wars and stuff, but I've never really for whatever reason, grasp the names of weapons and they haven't stuck in my head. So if you know what these blasters are called, that'd be cool. Because I know they're the same ones that Rex and Wolf have. All right, there's the helmet. Pretty cool. Does that come down? No. That is just really soft plastic, not meant to move. I guess he's not a Mandalorian, of course. So it looks like it's supposed to move. See the little peg in there? I don't know if you can, but there's a little like it's been pegged in. There we go. I think you just have to... Oh, oh. mine fell off. <laughs> that I know it's not supposed to do. But at least everything's intact. You can see where it's just unpegged. But now I can put it in like this. So he does have like a Mandalorian viewfinder. You know what? It's not... Ugh. There we go. It's just going to drive me nuts. So I'm going to leave it up. Because I'd like to just leave it up. If I can even get it pegged back in. Boy... Come on, get in there. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. I think it is supposed to come down with it being pegged in, but we're gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I hate that poop on here. Ah, monkey poop all over the front of this helmet. He's a wolf, not a monkey. All right, let's get him out. Ready, gonna be loud. Not the worst, not the worst. All right, there he is. I feel like this is pointing too far this way. Isn't it supposed to be up a little bit more? Like here and up? I don't know. When, when I look at my Cody, it's like up. His is just like straight back. I don't know. Okay. It is definitely the old school clone type because it doesn't have the uh, neck articulation here like the newer ones. Let me grab a newer phase two. They have a peg on a rocker down here and a peg on the rocker on the top of the head, which allows this movement, which is great to get a ton of movement. The newer, the older style, it is just a peg up top with a rocker. So you don't have much back, but you're going to have a ton of forward because of the rocker. Kind of reminds me of a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. That's kind of how they do it. And a lot of Marvel Legends kind of do it that way. I much prefer, if you're going to have armor and everything, the the... Having that other ball joint kind of hidden down there is fantastic. I mean, I love articulation, but when you can hide it so it, it, it just looks really good, yeah, all for it. So, so this one is old school. You saw the head. The so this is first generation. Um, this is glued here and here. It is hard plastic. So when you want to put his arm up, you have to make sure it's above, or it's going to get real funky. And it's not the easiest thing to do. So. They, they, on the second generation, they went through, where's the second generation? Um, this would be, uh, let me grab this guy, no, he definitely is. Um, the Elite Squadron. So they just glued it here and made it soft plastic. Still kind of funky. It works better, but it got a little funky. The newer ones, they don't have any glue. It is pegged in right here and it just works so much better. So, that's old school. Um, we got the bicep cut, so the originals had bicep cuts. The second generation did not, the third generation does again. The original generation has pins, which are kind of funky. Um, don't like looking at pins, so at least they, they took the pins away, but they made it just a peg and a rocker. So it doesn't have as much movement, not a whole lot of difference, but you don't have to look at the pins, which is nice. The hands are usually an up and down rocker on this hand and a right and left on the other. Yep, standard stuff there. And then nothing has really changed in the waist here. So um, you just have a ball joint going in here, and that, that's all your movement there. There is no waist cut. So there's your lean back. Not a whole lot of lean back. There's your lean forward. And move around where you need to. The legs. And I do like these. So this is the first one I unboxed that had these, like Rex. 
very cool. Um, the soft goods, I should say. And he's got his two little blaster holders, uh, holsters as well, which is pretty neat. Much like Rex and Wolf. Alright, so his leg out is only to there. Leg forward is not bad. Leg back is to there. There is just a ball joint down inside of there. It's hard to see, sorry. Um, there is a peg going down inside of this armor, so you got that great uh, hidden thigh cut. It's great. Old school knees, so you got your double joints here, the new school. New, new school, just the new style is a peg and a rocker, which is nice because there's no more pins. And then your foot is a little bit of something too. So there's a peg and a rocker, goes up great, but you can't go backwards because of this little piece right here. So there's no like push down movement. Second generation, same thing. The newer ones, it's taken a little bit away and you can actually make his foot go down. So that's a definite update there. But he's gonna look cool on the shelf. Would I like to see an upgrade at some point? Yeah, especially without the poop all over his armor. That would be great. All right, let's set him here. I'd like to see what he looks like with his helmet on. Yeah, he looks good. I like it. All right, let's set him here. So those blasters here, get a little closer look. Let's see, let's go like that. So there's there's Wolf with his blasters that he comes with. That's everything that comes in the box. Let's move those out of the side, out, out of the way. And then uh, let's throw some other figures next to him just for fun. There is Cody. This is the Archive Cody. Here is 501st. So this is the original style as well, Clone Trooper. And then we've got, have it just a Phase 2 Clone Trooper. This is the newer style. Let's put him over here because his blaster's facing that way. And then we've got Ahsoka's Clone over here. He is the newer style as well. All right, there's a whole bunch of clones there, looking kind of cool. Let's wipe away the clones. Well, we'll wipe away two of the clones, and we'll throw a couple of the figures here for scale. Let's uh, pull him out of the way, the two newer ones, since this is an older figure. This is a newer one. This is a super battle droid. Let's throw him over here. And then C-3PO as a battle droid. Why not? All right. That looks pretty good. There is your Clone Commander Wolf. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching.